Welcome, hello. Welcome to this lesson in the Lois Maggio Sister for Brass lesson series. In this Lois Maggio Sister for Brass lesson series video, I'm going to be playing through lesson one, production of sound and syllables. The purpose of using different syllables is to play in extreme registers, both high and low. Um, without changing the armature. You don't want to be shifting down, left, right, up. You just find a comfortable one, and then you play every range through it. And you want to proceed this lesson with warm-up A, which I have um, played and demonstrated and gave you tips on warm-up A in a different video. I will also link to um, the Lois Major Six from Brass lesson series playlist down in the description. The throat should be in an ah position. Pronounce the syllables with the tongue. And in the high register, a hissing sound will be created with the tongue from being in the will be created a hissing sound will be created by the tongue up and forward. So if the, when the tongue is up and forward in the high register, a hissing sound will be created. Be sure to be relaxed. You don't want to have any tension, because that will be promoting bad habits and then you'll have problems down the road. So, this is Lois Magic's Super Brass Lesson Series. So. And from that note down, you use the syllable ta. The B natural and the C and the D flat, above that, D flat, you use te. And then from above that, from this note, up to this note, use T, and then anything above that, you use tick for um, syllables. So this is Lois Magic System of Brass, Lesson 1, Production of Sound. And the way it works out is it goes, um, it does the arpeggio down in quarter notes, and then goes up in half notes. And then after you do that, those two sections of down quarter notes and up half notes, it has a fermata rest. And you can rest as long as you want, but I'm going to be resting four beats. And I'm going to, if, if you want to, you can do it all the way through. But what I have to do is do the arpeggio down, and then do two half notes, then breathe, and then, and then breathe, and then go the last two half notes of each section, because and it gives me enough air for the high notes. Be natural. Three, four. And it starts with low register and proceeds up. So you can, if you have a trigger one, you can do this if you're a beginner, or, you, or not really a beginner, but an intermediate or kind of a beginner. Because it starts with low and it just builds up from beginner to advanced. So this is C. writes out the arpeggio up, but it doesn't write the arpeggio down, but it puts an arrow on that an empty measure, so you, so you know that you still should do the arpeggio down. This is E. Your air 
is I like to demonstrate on the, the bell of the horn is that for your air, this is like if you're doing the F arpeggio, it would be F or F arpeggio up at least would be F A C F. F A C F. And because it's slow, we increase in the air speed and the air amount. And then between the third and fourth note, which the F arpeggio would be C. Between the C and the F, you want to use extreme amounts of air, or a lot more air than you were using to get up those high notes. So that's how you actually build it, is by using using the air correctly. It's not by jamming in your face or anything. You want to be tense. If you don't want to be tense, you want to be relaxed and just use your air. This is G flat. <laughs> So your stomach puffs out. You want your stomach to puff out instead of your shoulders shrugging up. This is B flat. And with that one it goes, B flat, F, G, B flat, on the way down. It is the regular down and the regular up, but then it doesn't put a firm out of rest. It gives you a arpeggio down, a low arpeggio. It gives you that arpeggio down. When you get to the B pedal B flat, you do three of them in half notes. The third one has a firm out on it, so you can play it as long as you need to get that um, note centered and have a clear, consistent sound on that note. And that's why they put the, um, that's why they put three of those pedal B flats, and that's why the pedal B flat on the third one has a fermata. So you can have your, um, sound, so you can focus on centering that sound and having it clear as possible. So it sounds like just your middle range, where it's super easy. Now this is B natural. <laughs> Three, 
Four. E. This is E natural. In certain times, it seemed correct, and um, when it gets higher, I like to use alternate positions because it tricks the brain into playing higher. Because your brain's thinking, oh, that A flat in third is very difficult, but maybe, or that A in second is very difficult, so you play a second and sixth, maybe you just do that, and then it tricks the brain. Another way to trick the brain is playing, being able to play higher. This is the F. to the B natural, up to the B natural. And at this point, it can, it, this is from the B natural up to the D flat, D area, these are all, they're there, the B natural is there, the C is there most of the time, but they're not notes that I'd be like, if I'm sick or I was just not in, I'm in my, one of my worst um, days for playing. I don't think these would be notes that I'd just be able to hit. But um, in good days, I can hit these pretty well. This is a B natural. stop or if you feel like you're able to get it but the, uh, the um, during the arpeggio down first is your downfall so you're not able to just you're not able to just go bang out the C you can um, skip that part and you can just do the upward arpeggio building that also works because most people they can do the upward arpeggio higher than they're able to do the um, entire thing where you go down and up And this might be my last one, depends on how I'm feeling and how it turns out. But yeah, this D flat is in my, it's like sometimes notes. Like they sometimes happen, but sometimes they don't. Sometimes they go like a big train wreck. This is the D flat. Lowest major super brass lesson one production of sound helpful for you in your 
range development, sound production, and brass playing. And um, if you like this um, type of video, please consider subscribing, liking, and commenting um, for more videos in the Lois Maggio system for brass. And come back for lesson two, the slur, in the next video. And you can watch the previous warm-up videos in the Lois Maggio system for brass playlist in the description. Thanks for watching. Peace out.